Hi and welcome to Fight Focus, the first of a new concept brought to you by iboxingtickets.com. As I said, this is the first of a, a new series, a new concept, so please ex excuse the rawness of this. There may be a few mistakes. It might not look as polished as you'd like it to. Uh, this is in no way a Sky Sports setup or a Sky setup or BT setup of any, of any shape or form. This is done with a green screen draped over and two lights in the conservatory being filmed on a mobile phone. So please bear with us. As I said, this is a new concept. We'll talk about different fights going on. The first one we're going to focus on is the Heaven and Hell show this weekend, Saturday the 9th of September at York Hall, promoted by Josh Goodwin, part of Goodwin Boxing. The fight we're going to be focused on, the fight focus we're looking at, is Joel McIntyre defending his English light -like heavyweight title against Liam Conroy. It's a great fight for both. Both equal in terms of they both had 17 fights. Joel, 16 wins with one loss. Liam with 13 fights, three losses and one draw. So very much equal. Similar sort of rounds. I think Joel's box 92 and Liam is 83, so there's not much in that. Joel was 29 years old. Liam's slightly younger at 25. Joel's been a pro since 2010, whereas Liam's been a pro since 2012. So again, there isn't much to look at from them. Knockout ratio, Liam's got a little bit higher than Joel, but Joel's probably been a bit more experienced, probably boxed at a higher level, obviously. I say he's fought Miles Shinkwins twice. He did lose to Miles Shinkwins in the Southern Era title. We're going to reverse that, as I said before, when he picked up the English title in December. Liam coming full of confidence, as he said in some of his tweets, which we'll explain to you in a little bit later on. But, you know, it's a, it's a really, really good trade fight. It's one that's got the experts more or less split. Just seems to be a slight majority tipping towards Joel for this fight. Obviously, Joel, since being managed by Steve Goodwin, you know, been straight into this English title. He's got Frank Buglioni's British title in his sights. And if he wins this and defends his, his British title, sorry, his English title, you know, he's definitely in the mix, right in the mix for, for going for that, that title. Liam Cromwell, again, this is a great opportunity for him. Has been in the prize fight, lost in the prize fight. He has picked up the WBU silver. So he's got a good run of form on at the moment. Three of his last four contests coming by the way of knockout. So Liam's in a rich vein of form as well. So Liam obviously managed by MTK. Joel managed by Steve Goodwin. So it's a really, really great fight. There isn't too much to split them. Just looking down here, even looking down through the, the people they fought, relatively similar all the way through. The only thing you would say is, is Joel has consistently put it in, hasn't dropped many rounds, hasn't lost many rounds, has been a professional. Liam said a couple of blemishes on his record for different reasons, perhaps lost or drawn to people that you wouldn't expect him to. Maybe bad days at the office, etc. But one thing you can be sure of, that he's going to be up for this on the 9th of September, this Saturday. And it seems like he's bringing some people down. What do you get with Joel? Joel, you know, he's got a good engine, good at putting his punches together. Got a very, very strong chin. He's strong as well. He's a lot stronger than his record suggests. You know, he's only got, uh, excuse me, Joel, just three, three knockouts to, to his record. But, you know, he does punch hard, the people he's been sparring with. You know, he is strong. Like I say, got a great engine. Liam, again, puts his punches together. Obviously, can punch, like I say, through the last four as a thing, so he's strong. But also can be hurt himself. He's been on the floor a couple of times. So, you know, this is what makes it a really, really good fight. Two boys, levels terms of, you know, equal in terms of the amount of bouts they've had. There's not much to split in terms of everything else. And this is a real pick and fight. You know, Liam's coming down to obviously try and take that away from Joel. Joel from the south coast in Portsmouth. Obviously fought, fought in York Hall a lot on the, the Goodwin Boxing shows. So, you know, York Hall's become his second home. Got a great trainer in John Murray. Always gets him in, in great shape. And that's one of the things we put up in the graphic here is jo uh, Joel, consummate professional, always, always in shape. I said the only blemish he's had in his record, he's managed to reverse that. Good psychologically, you know, he's always in shape. He's always positive. Always focuses on himself. Always just just looking to the end target. Not really a trash talker. Liam isn't a trash talker either, really. But there has been a couple of tweets come out, which is isn't trash talking, but just showing his confidence ahead of this fight. I'll just put them up on the screen for you. Nine weeks ago, so obviously eight or so weeks ago, he put this up. Nine weeks a day, another belt for the trophy cabinet. So very confident, as you'd expect him to be, as you'd want him to be. And this is what makes this a really good fight. And then obviously one just a couple of days ago, 
Anyone fancies a t-shirt? For when we upset the people at York Hall, use the discount code. So again, Liam, very, very confident coming into this. And like I said, Joel is too. This is what makes it such a good fight. You've got to get down to see this. This is one of the best fights going on at the weekend. If you're looking for a real trade, pick and fight, forget the Mayweather-McGregor fight. If you're looking for a true boxing match between two consummate professionals, this is it. Tickets are still available, www.iboxingtickets.com. Also, you can get them from the boxers as well. So please come down and support the show. It is going to be a great, great event. Also, another note, as I said, I hope you like this fight focus. It is slightly a different concept. Like I say, it is a bit raw, so apologies that it's not as polished as you like. I have no ambitions to carry on doing this. If anyone else watching this wants to come in and replace me as this side of the camera, please get in contact. Obviously, this is filmed near where I live in Milton Keynes. You have to obviously get up here. We're going to try and do fight focus for a lot of the shows we have on iboxingtickets.com. So the, the, the show's up and down the country. So like I say, if anyone wants to come and give us a try, you'd obviously have to try and get up to us. But, you know, please get in contact with us um, if you want to do this, because I have no ambition to try and carry on doing this. But let us know your thoughts on this, anything you'd like to see more of, any tweaks. Like I said, this is new. We want to put out content that, that helps you and, and also that you're interested in. Please comment. Please um, let us know if you guys have questions or any things. Follow us on Snapchat, obviously iBoxing Tickets, Instagram as well at iBoxing Tickets, Twitter at iBoxing Tickets, and also on Facebook iBoxing Tickets as well. So again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this thing get down Saturday 9th of, 9th of September. John McIntyre defends his light heavyweight title against Liam Conroy.